This news update is brought to you by Say hello to Shanta. Shanta is an entertainer, but she also loves to be entertained, which is why she has Flow TV brought to her through Flow's 100% fiber to the home network. It's great for busy Shanta because she can control the time she watches her favorite shows, play back from the start in case she missed it, or even record with cloud video recording. And with her Flow Services bundle, enjoys much more for much less. Visit any Flow retail outlet. Call 1-800-804-2994 or visit discoverflow.co to find out more. One of a kind connection. This is how we flow. Welcome to this Barbados Today news update for Tuesday, September 20. Thank you for joining us. I'm Desmond Brown. There may be light at the end of the tunnel, but the Barbados economy is not yet out of the woods. And the president of the Caribbean Development Bank, Dr. Warren Smith, says it will take what he calls urgent front-end adjustment to correct the economic slide. Speaking with Barbados today, Dr. Smith described the overall fiscal position as unsustainable. He said if left unchecked, this will do untold damage to the Barbados dollar. But the CDB president said while the institution will play an advisory role, it's up to the administration of the day to accept or reject the advice given. Our responsibility as a development institution is to have a constructive dialogue with our countries. We don't run the economies of the countries that uh, we work with. Uh, where our role is to engage in a policy dialogue and the changes that we advocate uh, don't necessarily happen immediately. Remember that we're working with countries that are real life countries that have political systems, they have political electorates and all these types of things. Meantime, the CDB is sticking to its projection of 0.9% growth for Barbados this year. This in spite of recent positive developments in the tourism sector. Dr. Smith says the CDB was holding fast to its projections for now, even though he acknowledged that there are some other positive indicators for development. While highlighting positive developments in the renewable energy sector, Dr. Smith stressed the need for ongoing economic transformation on the heels of 10 years of very anemic growth, which he said had impacted the entire region. He highlighted the impact of the bank's own position, pointing out that Jamaica and Barbados, which are the two largest borrowing member states, have been adversely affected. Barbados, which is the second largest beneficiary of CDB's resources, Barbados has moved from a strong uh, investment grade rating to what is now referred to as junk bonds. Mm -hmm. Okay, That's a big, big blow to us. Jamaica is our largest credit. For a long time, Jamaica has been in junk bond uh, territory. In other news, localized showers resulted in flooding in some sections of the country this afternoon. Parents of students at the Trinity Academy in Eagle Hall were called in to collect their charges just after 1 p.m. today, after sections of the school were flooded. Flooding was also reported in St. George at Groves. Forecasters say weak, unstable conditions are affecting the island, and showers and thunderstorms are more likely over some western and northwestern districts. In sports, Grenada's Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell has resigned from the post of Chairman of CARICOM's Subcommittee on Cricket Governance. Mitchell said he resigned because he was angered by the behavior of some of his colleague leaders in the region. Prime Minister Mitchell did not call out the names of his regional counterparts, but accused them of undermining CARICOM's position by making divisive public statements after agreements would have been reached at the heads of government level. Dr. Mitchell said he has suggested Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonzalez of St. Vincent and the Grenadines take up the role. There's regional and international news after this short break.
regional news, St. Lucia is moving to have Trinidad-based Caribbean Airlines as its national carrier. Prime Minister Alan Chastany told reporters at a news conference last evening that having Cal serve as the national carrier may be the best option for the island given the many issues facing air transport in the region. He said this means Caribbean Airlines would now be able to fly between St. Lucia and Barbados and Trinidad and even go to Puerto Rico and other places. Chastanay reiterated earlier statements that Castries would not provide any financial assistance to LIAT until it is restructured. On the international scene, President Barack Obama convened a leaders' summit on refugees in New York today, making an impassioned plea for countries to do more to help tens of millions of displaced people around the globe. It's an issue that's captured the world's attention more in the past two years than at perhaps any other time since World War II. Seared in the public's consciousness are photos like that of a three-year-old Syrian boy who drowned in the Mediterranean and the flood of migrants into Europe. Obama's summit follows a similar UN-led meeting on the issue on Monday, which drew attention to the crisis but offered little in the way of binding commitments. And it's over. The world's most famous couple, apart from Kim and Kanye, are no more. Angelina Jolie has filed for a divorce from husband Brad Pitt after two years of marriage and more than a decade together. Not surprisingly, the hashtag Brangelina is the world's top Twitter trend today. Say goodbye to Brangelina. Angelina Jolie has filed for divorce after being married to Brad Pitt for two years and together for 12, according to TMZ. The 41-year-old actress's father, John Boy, telling Inside Edition by phone, quote, it's very sad, adding, something very serious must have happened for Angie to make a decision like this, end quote. Trouble started for the Hollywood powerhouse couple over a conflict involving their children, TMZ reports, saying Angelina was extremely upset with Brad's method of parenting. That's news and sports, but for the very latest, visit our website, www.barbadostoday.bb. Also, subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, and like us on Facebook. We are on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you, as well as Channel 99 on Flow TV. I'm Desmond Brown.